Okay, today we're going to be looking at some two-digit multiplication. Uh, we're going to be looking at three different ways to come up with the same answer, uh, and some of them are going to be a little bit different, uh, but <clears throat> it gives you different options um, that uh, may make it easier. Ultimately, it's a good idea to uh, learn how to do the traditional method. Uh, in the end, it's going to probably be your shortest uh, method of doing it. But the problem with the traditional method, especially for young students learning uh, multiplication, is that it requires you to carry a lot of numbers. With these two methods, the bow tie and the matrix, uh, there's no carrying of numbers. Uh, so there's uh, less, less uh, chances for mistakes. And you tend to be multiplying by powers of 10 a lot. So you're going to be using uh, a lot of um, base 10 stuff that you'll be uh, multiplying by. So let's take a look at the uh, bow tie method. We've got our equation here, and our equation is 21 times 14. Well, both the matrix and the bow tie method use what's called partitioning, which means we're going to split the numbers up. And what we know is that 21 is really the same as saying 20 plus 1, and 14 is the same as saying 10 plus 4. Now, what we're going to do is we're actually going to uh, cross multiply all this out and when they, you do that, it actually comes in the shape of a bow tie. So, for example, what we're going to do here is we're going to start off by saying, start our tie here by saying 20 times 10. Well, it's pretty simple. 2 times 1 is 2, and 2 zeros, so that gives us a total of 200. And then here, we're going to do 1 times 4, which equals 4. And then what we got to do is we got to cross the bow tie. 20 times 4. It's going to be 80, and then finally 1 times 10. And as you can see, it looks like the shape of a bow tie when you're done. So 1 times 10 is 10, and now we tally up the results. In this case, it comes out to 294. All right, well, let's move on to our matrix method. Now, with our matrix method, we use the exact same principles of partitioning where we're splitting the numbers up, except we're creating a little bit of a matrix here. So what we do is we say 20 and 1, and then we uh, down, the, uh, down the vertical column, we'll be going 10 and 4. Okay, now what we have to do is we actually have to draw in our matrix. And with this matrix, what we do is we want to fill in these squares. So we just come to the middle and we meet. So, so it's 20 times 10 is 200. 20 times 4 is 80. And then we do it over here. 1 times 10 is 10. And 1 times 4 is 4. Well, now what we have to do is we have to add them up. So 20, 200 plus 10 is 200. 10 and 80 plus 4 is 84. We add those numbers together to get our answer of 294. Now moving on to the traditional method. What we have to do here is we're going to use the old school algorithm here where we simply say 21 times 14. And in a way, it's kind of like the bow tie method because you are uh, connecting a lot of lines. But the one thing that we have to be familiar with is in traditional is that once you finish with a column, we have to indicate that we are finished with that column by adding in a zero. Okay? So 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. All right, now we've finished with this column now. So because we finished with the ones column, we're going to put a zero there to represent that we're done with the ones column. Because now we're moving into the tens column right here. So one times one is one, and one times two is two. Now we add it up, four, nine, and two. And we get the exact same answer for all three questions, but they were came by in different ways.